I haven't been back for years, but this place hasn't changed at all. I, Shoichi Monaka, am a 25-year-old IT engineer. I worked for a company for two years after graduating from university. However, I chose to leave the company to work as a freelancer. I stayed in Tokyo for six months after I quit my job. Today, I'm moving back to live with my parents since my job can be done from home. Hey, you're home! It's been a while, Mom. You haven't changed a bit. That's sweet. Thank you. You haven't changed either. I wish you would have brought home a girlfriend. I would have enjoyed meeting her. Eh, fortunately, I'm single. Oh, that's too bad. I guess you wouldn't have considered moving back if you had one. You could have saved me a whole lot of embarrassment if you hadn't mentioned that. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Your meal is ready. Do you want to eat? Sure, I'll be right there. I took a nice long bath after I ate my mother's homemade meal. Yeah, it's good to be back home. I thought I'd be more nervous since I haven't been in this house in so long. But I'm already feeling relaxed and comfortable. Hmm, I'll take the day off to soak it in. I'm gonna start working tomorrow. A month later. Done! Yeah, I'm sure I've done enough. Time to turn it in. Oh, I'm so glad I decided to move back in with my parents. I can help them financially, and having somebody do the housework for me lifts a load off my back. It's perfect. I've been getting better at getting jobs done faster, but I've been working too hard recently. I didn't realize until now, I've been too busy, but my back is killing me. I have some time on my hands. Might be a good idea to see a chiropractor. I looked up some clinics in the area and picked the best looking one. I'm here. Gosh, this place is shabby. I'm starting to feel unsure about my decision. I've never been inside, but this place has been here since I was a kid. I shouldn't judge. The chiropractor must be good since it's still standing here. I wondered if I should go home. But in the end, I walked into the clinic. Oh, Hanada, is that you? Yui Hanada. We used to attend high school together. She was known as the prettiest girl in school. I remember witnessing guys asking her out on numerous occasions. As for me, I was more of a loser. But hey, at least I had two friends, right? We never talked despite being in the same class for three years. She probably doesn't remember who I am. Hey, Monica kun right? Huh? Yes, I am. I didn't think you'd remember my name. I would never forget you. I mean, I remember every class member I had in high school. Oh, I see. She always had the top exam scores. Her memory must be better than others. I never expected to see you here. Most of our schoolmates moved away from this area after graduation. If I remember right, you went to uni in Tokyo, right? Wow, didn't think you knew that. Well, I know what every classmate has been up to after high school. That's amazing. I only know what 10 of my classmates are doing now. Gosh, her memory is astounding. I never told her. She must have heard it from somebody else. I know it's a bit strange. You weren't here for the reunion either. We never had the chance to talk. Yeah, I didn't feel the need to go since my friends weren't planning to attend. And coming back to this area just for a reunion felt like too much of a hassle. <laughs> you haven't changed, Monica kun why don't we get started? We don't want to spend the whole session chatting. So what can I do for you today? Uh, well, I uh, work from home right now, so I sit in front of my computer all day. I'm gonna hurt my back because of it. I have terrible posture and I'm absorbed in work. I see. Many of my clients say the same thing. Nobody thinks about posture when they're focused. Okay, I'm gonna need you to lie face down on that bed over there. Let me know if anything hurts, alright? I'll try to be as gentle as I can, I promise. Yep, got it. I hope nothing is wrong. Putting pressure on this occupant is going to help you. I thought you said you'd be gentle. After that, the massage continued for an hour. Unbelievable, nothing hurts. I'm glad. That doesn't mean everything is fixed. The pain might return if you don't improve your posture. Keep your mind on that while you work. Okay, I'll try not to forget about it. The thing is, I need to tell you that you tend to bend your back even when you're not working, so that's something you have to work on. Oh, I wasn't aware of that. I've never thought about my posture, but I'll try to be uh, conscious of it from now on. Great. Posture improvement is possible for anyone. So, Monica kun do you have any free time after this by chance? Yeah, I think I have about an hour. Do I have to go through more treatment? No, uh, that's not what I meant. My break is starting in a bit. I was wondering if you wanted to grab a bite with me. Uh, sure. I don't see a problem with that. After that, we decided to eat at an Italian restaurant near the clinic. Gosh, bumping into you at the clinic was the least thing I expected when I walked through the door. And now I'm eating lunch with the prettiest girl at school. Oh my gosh, that was ages ago, Monica kun I wasn't the prettiest girl. You're just flattering me right now. Yes, you were. You have boys lined up to talk to you. Uh, that's not true. Oh, come on. How many guys asked you out during your high school days? Uh, about 20. See? My point exactly. Wait, she remembered where I went to university, but she doesn't remember how many guys asked her out? Meh, just means there were too many to keep a precise count. I'm jealous. Nobody has ever asked me out. Not once. 
fine. I admit, I was a bit popular back in high school, but things are different now. Uh, really? I bet you get a lot of customers. Did any of them ask you out? No way. Most of my clients are 40 and over, mainly grandpas and grandmas. I don't get any young clients. Oh, I see. I'm not surprised. People with back problems tend to be on the other side. Yep. Well, I'm sure plenty of young people have back problems, but there aren't many in this city to start with. That's true. Most of our classmates have left. Hanada, why did you decide to stay here? It wasn't much of a decision. I just stayed here to take care of the clinic my parents owned. Oh, you took over your parents' business. So that's why your posture was perfect. <laughs> I always noticed how straight you stood when we were in school. Wow, it's true I tried to keep good posture, but I never thought you would remember that. Uh, there was this rumor. People thought you were a daughter of a wealthy family and you were taught to keep good posture. Really? Nobody ever told me that. It must have been disappointing to find out I worked at a shabby chiropractic clinic. Nah, never crossed my mind. I have respect for your parents. It's not easy to keep a business running for so long. Oh, thank you. I don't think anybody has ever said that to me. Hey, so uh, are both of your parents retired now? They are. They're pretty old, to be honest. I said I would take over about five years ago. That was when they started talking about shutting down the place. I see. So you've been taking care of that place alone for five years? That's impressive. No, it's not. <laughs> I've been losing customers. I am far from doing a good job. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I felt so much better after your massage. You should give yourself more credit. I guess so. Thank you. I've never met such a pretty chiropractor. I wonder why her place isn't bustling with people. I've heard it's difficult to keep small businesses running. I guess it's true. Why don't you spread word through commercials and ads? You're amazing at what you do. I'm sure you'll get more customers once people start talking about your place. Well, I thought about it, but it costs a lot to put in ads and stuff. Yeah, you're right. Gosh, I feel awful. We've reunited after so many years, and here I am talking about my life troubles. Hey, don't worry about it. Every single living adult has their problems, hmm? It's important to let it out. Thank you, Monica-kun. What do you do now? You said you spend your days working in front of a computer at home. Oh, I work as a freelance IT engineer. I'm thankful to have clients who trust me, but I kind of push myself too hard. That's how I hurt my back. Oh, being a grown-up is never easy. Yeah, but I know how lucky I am. I shouldn't be complaining. Or can I come by if my back ever hurts again? Sure, drop by any time. I know the best thing would be for your back to heal, but I would love to see you again. Great, thanks a lot. We enjoyed the Italian meal and pied ways. Two weeks later, and my back has gotten much better, but it still hurts a little. Maybe I should visit Hanada at a clinic. I'm not going because I want to see her, I'm going for treatment purposes. Nothing else. Ugh, oh, I'm not making excuses. I should get ready to go. Hey, Monica-kun, you're back so soon. Is your back not feeling better? Uh, it's gotten a lot better, but there's still some pain left. Okay, backaches don't get better that easily. We can take it one step at a time. Great, you're a lifesaver. Here, let's get started. Hanada spent the next hour giving me the same massage you gave before. Thanks, Hanada. Oh, my back feels so much better now. God, I'm glad I could help. Come back if it ever starts hurting again. Okay, I will. Hey, I know it's none of my business, but uh, have you been getting customers recently? I'm the only one here. You mentioned things weren't going so well for you here. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, to be honest, it's pretty bad. Oh no. Anada, do you think you can come by my place after you close up the clinic? Huh? You're asking me out on a date now? I'm not sure going to your place on a first date is the best idea. Hold on, I'm not asking you to go on a date with me. Oh, uh, okay. Then what are you asking me? We need to get some ads out if you want more people to know about your clinic. You mentioned you were concerned about ad fees, huh? So I figured I'll make some designs for you. We could do it tonight. What? You can do that? Sure, it's not a difficult process. I don't have a laptop, so we can't do the work at your clinic. That's why I'm asking you to come over so I can ask for your opinion. I mean, we can have an online meeting if you have the proper device. Which would you prefer? Um, I'll go. I think it would be better to see everything in person. Okay, I'll write down my address for you then. Oh, how about you give me your Lyme info? Okay, sure. We exchange Lyme info and I send to my address. But are you sure about this? Um, about what? Well, you told me how busy you were. You must not have a lot of free time. I feel bad that you're going to spend your precious time helping me make ads. That's okay, I'm only suggesting it because I want to do this. But, but... I have a feeling my back isn't going to get better anytime soon. I can't let the clinic shut down since I'm going to need it. Wow, that's so kind of you. Okay, I'll be forever grateful for this. Hey, I got your back. 
four hours later. Um, I'm here. Oh, come in. I forgot to think about this. She's out of her uniform. It seems so different from when you're working at the clinic. Well, I didn't think I should come in my uniform, Monica-kun. Do you prefer me to be in my uniform? No, uh, that's not what I meant. I think I prefer how you look right now. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, awkward. M my bad, I shouldn't have mentioned it. It's okay, it didn't offend me or anything. Oh, good. Oh my, you two are such cuties. Mom, why are you here? Hey, I live in this house. Why are you surprised I'm here? No, I mean, why did you have to come out? I told you my friend was coming. You would appreciate some privacy. Well, I thought you had a guy friend coming over. And then I heard a girl's voice. What kind of mother wouldn't get curious? Okay, I get it. Hello, I'm Yui Hanada. Hi there! I'm Shoichi's mother, Misei. So, how long have you two been dating? Huh? Um, we're not in a... Mom, cut it out! Stop messing with Anada, okay? You're making her feel uneasy. Just to make things clear, we're not dating. I already told you, I don't have a girlfriend. Yes, you did, but I figured you found one after you came back. You never brought a girl back home. This is the first time seeing you with a member of the opposite sex. I'm aware of that, but I didn't invite her over for that today. So in the future... Stop! Please don't make this more uncomfortable than it already is. Hanada, you don't have to mind her. Uh, okay. Um, Monika-san, I'll see you around. Yes, you will for sure. And you can call me mom if you want. Oh, okay. We somehow escaped my mother's clutch and ran into the room. Oh, I'm sorry about my mom. As you heard earlier, this is my first time bringing a girl into the house. I guess she got excited over that. Uh, I see. I'm sorry too. You're helping me out, but I gave the wrong impression. I don't want to disappoint your mother. Nah, it's completely my mom's fault. I don't feel responsible for anything. Hey, let's get started. So, I started with making a website for your clinic. What do you think? Oh my gosh, you made this after you came home? Yep, I mean, this is what I do for work. I kept some spaces open for you to put in appealing points. I figured you wanted to do that yourself. Wow, thank you. Website's looking great. did a pretty good job. But I have a feeling this isn't enough. I need something more. Huh? I think it looks great. What else were you thinking of? Well, the website is fine, but we need to advertise something that will appeal to the viewers. Amada, you know of uh, massages that people can do themselves at home, right? Yes, quite a few. I mean, that is what I got paid for. Okay, how about we put up videos of you showing how to do the massages? Uh, I don't want to embarrass myself. Hey, it's not embarrassing if the website viewers can learn from your videos. I'm sure it'll be helpful for many. I'll post the link in the video description. That way, people will know who you are and where you come from. I see. I've never done anything like this. I'm a bit nervous. But I don't have any video recorders or anything. Uh, I think we can start by filming with your phone. I have an editing app on my computer. We can use that to edit the videos. Okay, thanks. Better to try than do nothing. And so we filmed self-massage videos and posted them online. A month later... What the heck? There are so many people watching my videos! An artist's self-massage videos went viral. Over a million people were watching their online tutorials. Well, workout massage videos get played quite often. People tend to add videos to their favorites so they can watch them any time. I'm sure 90% of our viewers watch her videos to see her pretty face, but I won't mention that to her. Another month later, an artist's viewers started flowing into the clinic. She was getting more customers than ever. After closing hour, this place is suddenly bustling. Yep, and it's all thanks to you, Monica-kun. Nah, I didn't do anything. Everything you've accomplished is a result of your hard work. You should give yourself more credit. Hmm, Monica-kun, you're the most kind-hearted man I know. I'm glad to see you haven't changed after all these years. Huh? What do you mean, in high school? Wait, Hanada, we never taught when we went to school together. Yeah, but actions speak louder than words. I saw you water the flowers when nobody else took care of them. And you cleaned the blackboard eraser whenever it was dirty. Uh, I can't believe you saw me doing that. Well, I started watching you more. Your actions showed how caring you were. And I couldn't keep my mind off of you. Oh, and just FYI, I don't know what all of my classmates ended up doing after high school. Huh? I overheard you talking about your future plans with your friends. I never forgot about it because it was you, Monica-kun. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, I was young back then. I didn't have the courage to ask you out. I regretted chickening out to this day. But 
My videos have brought me more clients, and I am feeling confident enough to ask you now, Monica-kun. Will you be my boyfriend? I liked you back in high school, but I never acted on my feelings, but I'm feeling confident now that I've helped you overcome your problem. I would love for you to be my girlfriend. Great! I'm here to support you through anything from now on, Monica-kun. Both of us overcame our lack of confidence. We finally started our relationship. I'm sure we'll survive anything life throws at us as long as we have each other. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.